afternoon. It's a gray day out there here in Fargo. You can see those gray skies have continued throughout the day and unfortunately just not easing up for us. So it's uh, a little bit on the gloomy side here, but in some places it's even worse. We've got, got that fog that's been hanging around here today in the valley. And in fact, it's spread through other parts of the valley now too. And here's one of our sky cams from around the region, a DOT cam in the Binford area. You can see in the distance our visibility is low, though you can see we can still see the road surface here. So it's not too bad in this specific area, but in general, we're looking at some lowering visibility in that region. We're down to less than a mile visibility in Cooperstown nearby and Langdon's at a quarter mile and out to the west you could see those numbers into the single digits. So we're looking at some issues there with uh, low visibility. And then over to the east now, this wasn't a problem this morning, but now we're dealing with low visibility too. Thief River Falls at less than a mile visibility there. So fog impacting the valley and what's interesting here is that the uh, immediate Red River Valley for the most part, we're looking okay, at least in Fargo and in Grand Forks, just on the gray side. Here's a look at our temperatures. We are into the teens and 20s, so this is right around average for this time of year, maybe slightly below, but it's still noon. We still have a little time to warm up. We're at 18 degrees currently in Fargo, 11 in Grand Forks. It's 21 in Detroit Lakes and up in Roseau and Bedette's at 22 degrees right now, and you can see that we're into the teens out to the west. Our winds have been light. We really need these to pick up, so once we start to see that wind come, coming in out of the south and we start to see those stronger winds uh, on the map, here, then that's when we'll start to see this fog clear out. And it's going to be a while. We may not see that happen until late tonight. And wind chills, that is a factor. It does feel like we're in the single digits in spots. So here's a look at that hour by hour planner. It's a quiet forecast for you here, though again, we're having to put up with some hazards in the form of that fog that not only is obscuring visibility, but could be making for some slick roads with temperatures below freezing. And as we head into the afternoon, the later afternoon hours will be into the teens and some low 20s, continuing that trend. This this evening, that's when we start to see the wind pick up, but it may not be until later on. This is 7 o'clock. Eventually, we see those gusts getting into the 20s, maybe even getting close to 30 miles per hour overnight. We get that air moving through and that, that movement going on to help scatter out the fog, but it will also be warming us up overnight. So we'll start the night at 17 in Fargo, and then overnight and into tomorrow morning, notice how we're starting in the 20s at 22 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So if you're heading out to do some tailgating, it's still going to be cold. You're still going to need to bundle up but it won't be as frigid and up in Grand Forks about 25 to start off the day and west we're looking pretty good near 30 in Jamestown and all of us continue that warming trend through the day we'll watch these temperatures rise back to near the freezing mark and over the freezing mark by the time we get into the afternoon hours for your Saturday so looking at temperatures in the low to some upper 30s that's going to feel great it's going to make for some very slushy parking lots and roadways though be ready for a kind of a sloppy mess out there tomorrow and a little bit of wind too cutting into that. We'll still have those winds uh, into the 20s and still looking pretty good into Saturday night and in Sunday as well. Here's a look at your seven day planner for Sunday into the low 30s again. And then we cool things down for the week. We'll be into the 20s uh, heading into the holiday, but quiet. It's just so great to be talking about an upcoming big holiday. Uh, and we don't have a big storm system threatening us. You know, on Christmas Day, there is that chance for a little bit of light snow, but so far so good. I feel like we have haven't had that happen in a really long time with all of our holidays. Well, Thanksgiving, of course, we had that big storm, and we've had a lot of Christmases in the past where we've had big storms too. So this is a lucky one. All right. Thank you, Lisa.